Hey, what's up guys? So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite way on using these lace and loop lace up to Velcro glove converters. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I wanted to show you guys my favorite way on utilizing these lace and loop lace up to Velcro glove converters, or really any other kind of uh, Velcro converter that are like these. I know there's other brands out there now aside from lace and loop. Um, and if you guys are not familiar with these lace and loops, basically the whole design behind this is that you can use this to convert your lace up boxing gloves into a, a, a Velcro glove. So that's really beneficial for those of you that train by yourself, you don't have anybody to lace the gloves for you. Maybe you train at a gym and you just don't wanna to continue to, to bug people around the gym. And you know how it goes, you go up to somebody, hey man, can you tie my gloves for me? And you know, sometimes that can be kind of an inconvenience uh, for people. So that's where the lace and loops come in and really add that convenience factor, especially for those of you that are a huge fan of lace up gloves compared to Velcro. Now, the big drawback I've always felt with the lace and loops is um, you obviously would have the laces in the gloves uh, set up traditionally. So it starts at the top and it basically just crisscrosses all the way down until the laces come out at the bottom. So it kind of ignore the way I have it set up now because this is the way I'm going to show you guys how I prefer to do it um, and kind of give you guys the details on that. But the laces would come out, then you would connect it to the lace and loop and from there you put your hand, your, your hand into the glove and you, you pull at the bottom and then you wrap the lace and loop around the glove and then secure it with the Velcro end, right? So that's typically uh, the way you would do it. And the issue with that I found is that it's nearly impossible to get this upper portion, which is where you can see my wrist is at and the lower part portion of my palm where you really need a lot of support. If you pull at the bottom, yes, you'll tighten these lower, this lower portion of the lace and loops and get the laces nice and tight but I always feel that there's this kind of this opening in this gap towards the palm section and down into this area. So if I were to make like a circle, right? Right in this area, I feel that if you tie your hands off with the lace and loops to the traditional way, that this area here often doesn't get as tight as you'd like it to. Um, and it's nearly impossible to do that, especially when you have your first pair of gloves on and you're putting on your second pair by yourself and you don't have anybody there to really pull the laces tight up in this section of the glove. So the solution to that, I feel, and this is something I've been doing for a while now and I just never made a video on it and said, you know what, I might as well make a video and show you guys, is that I actually have three pairs of, or should I say three laces in here. So the drawback to this is that for one glove, you need three laces or you can use two, it's completely up to you. I'm, I'm using three. So you're using three laces, so that means six laces total for two gloves, which yes, is, is kind of overkill, but I'm, I'm gonna show you why. And what I do instead of lacing it crisscross like you traditionally would, is I lace it through the top, and basically I just skip a hole. You can say I skipped one hole right there, and I'm basically making like a U-turn. So the top lace goes in through right here, it drops down, it comes across, and it comes out the other side. So now the laces are now coming out the side. And pretty simple, self-explanatory. I mean, there's nothing crazy there. And then, so that's the first lace. The second lace, again, I do the same exact thing. I just kind of cross over, come to the side. And the last one, um, I just get to the two bottom holes right there, cross over. So you can see I have three separate laces total. So that's the big drawback is that you kind of go overkill and you have basically three laces for one glove. From there, I basically secure it to the lower portion. I, I run the laces through this ring. You do have a little bit of extra bulk towards the bottom. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna tape this to the lace and loop so that the tips of the laces are not exposed and just have them taped to the bottom. So this is really good for a pair of lace-up gloves that are your favorite gloves that you know you're gonna use a lot. Um, and then from there, put your hands in like you normally would And you can see with the design now and the laces coming out from the side, I can pull it over 
with ease. There's no resistance whatsoever. And now I'm pulling the section of the wrist closer to the other side. And what that's doing is that you're now adding all the support from the lower portion of the glove all the way to the top because now the, the laces act almost like a kind of like a ratcheting system. You kind of ratchet that across and you can see the laces are going across now. And then I can go back behind the glove. And for the, this instance, obviously these are a triple cuff glove. These are the new sportings. I can go around, go around again, lock in the laces, go around with the Velcro. And again, I'm gonna secure the, the tips of the laces so they're not exposed. But this is just to show you guys and then lock in the Velcro. So now, basically the lace on the top right here is pulling in the glove. I'm getting more support in this upper section through the middle and to, through the bottom. Now, is it gonna be as good as somebody lacing them for you? No, you'll, you'll never get that level of security of someone doing them for you compared to using these you know, lace converter systems. That's just one of the benefits of having somebody tie the laces for you. However, I feel that this is much better and much more supportive than using it tr the traditional crisscross way and then the laces coming out the bottom and pulling them and then wrapping them. So again, I like this because again, you can see I can really get tension on the wrist and really lock my wrist in using this technique rather than the traditional. I'm gonna show you guys one more time and lock that in. So that's all nice locked in. And you can see, again, I pulled everything close together. So now I have basically the laces, bringing the glove over, pulling my wrist together and kind of going through the side right here. It does add a little bit of bulk to the glove. But again, if you want that nice locked in maximum wrist support, then I highly recommend this technique. The only drawback is you have to use more laces, but again, uh, as a big trade off in terms of getting more support uh, from your boxing glove. So if you guys have any questions or comments, Make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these lace and loop converters. And hopefully you guys can try out this technique. Let me know if it works out for you guys. I'll see you guys later. Take care.